and welcome to a kind of impromptu unplanned video. I am sorry that it's in sort of selfie style but that's because it kind of has to. If you've been watching my vlogtobers you'll have seen that Hedy got some new steps to help her get onto beds and sofas and I thought I would do a review of them for you in case you've not been watching my vlogtobers but if you have small dogs or older dogs um, you know especially dachshunds and mini dachshunds um, you know I think it is a really good investment so I thought I would do a full review oh hello I just leaned down to start filming it and Hetty's decided to lie down as well so these are the steps and I've left them set up to my bed to sort of show how high they are. Um, it's quite a low bed I have, so if you've got a high sort of divan style bed you might need a little bit more height. I bought these stairs from Amazon a couple of weeks ago um, because I was worried about Hetty hurting her back. If you have Daxons you know all about these sort of everyday problems and the, de like the, the dangers of jumping up and down sofas and beds. So I did a bit of research and I found one set on Amazon um, which I bought. I was a bit reluctant at first because they're quite expensive, it comes to just under £30. Um, I'll put my link down that I used down in the bottom. and. I thought we'll see how this goes, if they're good and if Hetty will use them we'll get another one um, for the bedroom as well as one in the living room. But they came and I was really impressed with the quality. Um, I liked the fact that they were plywood um, and very light, they weren't chunky and clunky um, and at the same time they weren't plastic because I'd read some reviews that said the plastic ones weren't very good quality so I was really pleased with that. I was also pleased to see how much Hetty uses them. She uses them all the time to get up on the sofa and about 75% of the time getting back down. Um, if she's in a hurry and a rush she does still tend to jump off them um, but that's something that I'm still working on with her. I think that'll come with time and so after having the ones in the living room for a couple of weeks I thought it would be a good idea to buy another set um, for the bedroom um, which does mean that I spent £60 on dog ramps but hopefully it's a long term investment in Hattie's health which I'm willing to make. I like how sturdy they are and how well built they're ma they are. Um, they're obviously very niche um, so it's quite an odd thing to be looking for um, but they're very well built, the cover fits them perfectly. Um, in terms of delivery um, it comes in about one working day with Parcel Express or Parcel Force or something. Um, it's very quick. It does come in a lot of packaging so be aware that it's a big box. Um, potential downsides for me are um, it's not quite as high as some people's beds and sofas. Um, it is for me, it works perfectly for both. But I would be worried if you had a divan bed that it might not be high enough. You might need to put it on something and kind of build it up from there. Um, but apart from that it is really good. Um, another possible downside is that it still stairs um, instead of a ramp. Um, but for the height that I needed and the angle, ramps were going to be massive and bigger than my one bed tiny flat essentially. Um, so I went for steps and I th I'm hoping that because they're small steps they'll be okay for her like health wise. I hope this has been a quick but useful review for you if you're a Dachshund owner or if you've got older dogs or thinking about getting a dog ramp I would really recommend these ones. Um, they're great. I don't know the sort of load that they would take. Um, I might be specified on the website. I would say um, Hedy's about three, three and a half kilos. It could take double her weight pretty easily. Um, I wouldn't worry about that it, because it is wood and it's not just plastic. If you have any questions about the dog ramp, just leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. So this one comes up to just under where my mattress is and it's an easy step for her up onto my bed. Excuse the unmade bed um, but that was just in order so she could get used to going up and down the stairs. I really like the steps, they're very light. They're made of a sort of thin plywood but they are very solid. Um, there is a really well made faux fur 
cover on it that fits perfectly. Um, it is also got a zip in it and it's machine washable, so you can wash it if you need to. I'm gonna try and get Hetty to use the, the stairs and we'll see how good Hey, I'm gonna get Hetty to use the stairs and that should give you a sort of in-action report of how they are to use for dogs. Hetty, come on baby, up the stairs. Here, here, here. And we're up. And that's her up the stairs and um, I'll try and make her go down, although she might not because she's now realised that I don't have any treats or food to give her. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hitty here. Good girly. Good girly. Good girl. Good girl. So they are super easy to use. Um, it took about five minutes to train Hetty how to use them. And that was because I took a little bit of ham and said here, and then did it when she jumped up. And then I said, took another bit of ham and made her jump down. I hope this has been useful. Sorry for the selfie style, not made up hair madu um, that we've got going on today. But that's just the situation. And remember, watch more of my vlogtobers. Bye.